Hey everybody, it's your friendly neighborhood sax man Alex. If you're new here, check out my get to know me video on my YouTube channel. It just says a little bit about me, a little bit about my background, and some other funny stories. If you haven't already, check out my Boston Sax Shop Reeve review. It has a lot of fun stuff and a lot of good information about these new reeves. I have explained this over the past I don't know 15 years of my life and I hate that this happens to woodwinds and specifically to saxophonists in general we have pads that stick and they won't respond and I might be playing a solo that sounds great and then my G sharp doesn't respond and I sound like complete poop. so you may ask yourself Alex what do you do what do you do with the sticky pad do you just give up you let the pad win no that's why I got the key leaves. So I went from the initial problem to the solution. We have our initial problem, we have the solution, but what is it? So the company is called Key Leaves, and what they have is a, a number of products that they have to solve the issue of pad stickiness. So they have key leaves that solve the problem of the C sharp and E flat key stickiness, which also inadvertently helps out the G sharp here. So that's cool. They also have neck caps that help to decrease the moisture inside the horn. They also have what is called their vent vines that wrap around the upper part of the saxophone to take away the moisture of the D, E, and F keys. Today I wanted to talk about the C sharp and E flat key product. So, <laughs> so you, you can see on the sax, fits in perfectly on my alto. Sarah loves it. She is loving the new less moisture C sharp and E flat key. And it goes really well. You know, you can, you can mold it however way you want, but let me show you how it looks in the packaging first. So with me, I got my key leaves. They come in this nice paper and plastic packaging. They just stapled it on to the paper. And it's really cool because they give you instructions on the back. And they also kind of give you instructions when you open it up and actually open the whole package up. It also comes with really cool stickers. You know how I am about stickers. Putting it everywhere. Whatever you want. Whatever makes you happy. You got this key leaves logo sticker you have the circle sticker and you have the little leaf sticker which is i think is really cute so right off the bat i just want to think a little bit more consciously of the environment what the materials are that are being made into this product to help reduce the moisture of the saxophone's pads just by looking at the website i see that in one of the faqs they explain that the key leaves for the c sharp and e flat are made out of pure silicone so that means the silicone on the actual leaves and the little rubber band that attaches it to them. which means that it will virtually serve you your entire lifetime unless you are chewing on it or <laughs> ripping it apart or playing with it every day or letting your dog eat it it'll stay with you forever so Alex how do you put the product on easy key leaves gives you the instructions right here on the back also inside the package when you open up and on the website too if you really just aren't sure and you don't trust the instructions on the packaging the website explains it perfectly so putting it on is super easy you take the end of the key leaf whichever end you want you put it on the upper half of the pad and you slide it in there's different ways on how you can actually put it on but I particularly like the side where it hugs the actual pad and then you just stick it underneath the bar that lifts up the pad itself then what you do is you do the same thing on the other side for the E flat key and you hug it or you do whichever way that you want there's different ways that you can actually do it so you can prop the key up and the website explains it so whichever way you want whatever works key leaves if you know what you're doing and you look through the instructions putting it on should be easy but it is made of silicone so it is stretchy so don't worry about ripping it or anything like that i would suggest though that the band not be tugged on too much because i feel that if i do tug it on hard enough it will break and snap so that's not good when you put it on the c sharp and e flat keys it actually does prop it up 
and I left it out for a night one time and it actually did work. The moisture was completely gone. I could play the next day and there was no sticky whatsoever. Unfortunately, I have a BAM case that's one of the traveler cases and when I did try to put it into the case and leave it on, it wouldn't close properly and I was a little bit scared that it would warp the bars for the keypad. So that's just a, a minus for the product. If you leave it on the stand like Sarah is doing right now, it should be fine. Maybe some other cases. I haven't asked anybody if the key leaves have warped any of their bars for the keypads, but I would experiment with it. And if it does, please do not. I don't want anybody to come to me and say, well, you did it and it warped my pads. No, 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 no. I am not liable for anything that happens to your saxophone. Personally speaking, I ordered them online. Their website is really easy to navigate. So you just go on the website search key leaves, it should be the first or second option on Google or whatever search engine that you're going on. And it's really easy, they have their list of products and pictures and examples and if you have any questions they have FAQs which is really nice and helpful and informative. I ordered two sets of key leaves for my alto and soon to be my tenor. They came in the mail, I'd say four or five days after I ordered it, which is pretty fast because the shipping was free. I'm gonna be making a video on some tips and tricks for the saxophone, and some of those tips have changed because of the key leaves. Before, I would use a really beat up $1 bill, something that I don't really care about, you know, just $1 won't matter. And I would stick it under the pads that were sticky, swipe them, you know, hold down the pad a little bit, swipe them, and they would remain unsticky for about half an hour and then after playing it would get sticky again so it really didn't work but the key leaves changed everything you know just leaving it out for a couple of hours before you play or maybe even after you play or overnight if you can leave it on a stand has changed everything for me i don't have to worry about sticky pads anymore and it's great <laughs> i have said this time and time again new york in the summer has the worst humidity levels, and by worst, I mean one million percent. The humidity will be on the rise. Starting tomorrow, it's going up and up and up, and Wednesday and Thursday will be. Which is so frustrating for a woodwind sax player, flute, maybe not flute, woodwind player in general. I have suffered time and time again, where I've practiced and my G-sharp key will not respond because of the damn humidity. But not anymore! Thank you, key leaves. They have a really cool social media outreach with everybody who buys their products and mentions them on their social media. They're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and YouTube. So go check them out for informational videos and whatnot. There was something that actually happened a couple of days ago. Some page that I'm not familiar with posted my photo without mentioning and giving me credit. And Key Leaves posted that on their story. So I just had to take matters into my own hand and told Key Leaves and told the page to at least give me credit or take it down. Key Leaves was really fast, they're really nice, and they reposted it tagging me in the photo and in the story. And they're really nice about it, it was really cool. So kudos for their social media team. The cost of the Key Leaves for the C Sharp and E Flat keys are only $19.99, so I think that's definitely worth the cost. And you should get one if you, if you can. Other products on the Key Leaves website are definitely affordable and I think you should browse the website and look for products that can help take away any of the moisture of the saxophone. For $19.99, I'd rather pay that amount than $300 for a repair for a sax or a replacement for pads. I think in the long run, that's definitely a good investment, so thanks guys. This video is not sponsored at all, they didn't make me do this, I'm not paid to do this. The product is really good and I just wanted to review it and show you guys what the hype is all about. And I paid for it myself, so Kilo's had nothing to do with it. I just really like this product and I wanted to share you my experiences with it. The link to the Kilo's website is in the description below. Thanks for watching the video, and as always, don't forget to like and subscribe, and check out my Facebook and Instagram for more videos of me doing beats, standards, and whatnot. And as always, stay sexy! The Kilo's website will be posted in the description. The link to the website will be posted in the description below. How would I say that? The link to the Key Leaves website is in the description below. The link to the Key Leaves website is in the description below. The Key Leaves... The... <laughs> Stop! You always put too many words. <laughs>